is a very exciting day because it is National Waffle Day. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I am obsessed with my waffles. I've been using my mini waffle maker for years now. I actually found this thing on accident because I couldn't afford a regular one. I was just out of college and super broke. And not only is this thing super adorable, super compact and perfect for van life, but you can also cook so many other things besides waffles in it. I cook my eggs in this thing. It's my favorite way to cook an egg. And I actually now have a code that will save you guys 25% use CPT dash all caps. I'll write it down below here. And I have the description and the link down below in the description. I'm doing a really exciting giveaway for National Waffle Day. And all you have to do is subscribe to my channel. I'm giving three subscribers each a Dash Mini Waffle Maker, a tub of First Form Protein, and six boxes of Kodiak Cakes. If you want double the chances of winning, you can head over to my Instagram page because I'm doing the exact same giveaway over there. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make two of my favorite healthy waffle recipes. The first is a healthy protein packed McWaffle and the second one is blueberry almond poppy seed protein waffles. Let's get to cooking. Okay, for the healthy McWaffle breakfast sandwich, you'll need one whole egg, a third cup of Kodiak Cakes buttermilk waffle mix, one scoop of first form collagen, one slice of turkey bacon, one slice of reduced fat cheddar cheese, one tablespoon of sugar-free syrup, and then some nonstick spray for the mini waffle maker. Mini waffle maker, not required. You can use any waffle maker of choice. However, I highly recommend this one. Okay, for starters, I'm going to add a third cup of my Kodiak cake mix with one full scoop of my first form collagen protein. And I'm gonna add a tablespoon of sugar-free syrup and about a third a cup of water. Mix it all up. While I'm doing this, my waffle maker is heating up. And so now I'm going to spray it with some non-stick spray. I'm using coconut oil spray. You can use any type of spray. And then three tablespoons makes one waffle. So I'm gonna put three tablespoons in and close her up. And we'll wait about a minute. And the most important part of any recipe is the taste test. Mmm, it passes. It's like the perfect balance of sweet and savory. McDonald's, you ain't got nothing on me. All right, on to blueberry almond poppy seed waffles. Another one of my favorites. Let's get to it. All right, here are all the ingredients you'll need for the blueberry almond poppy seed protein waffles. Half a cup of Kodiak Cakes buttermilk waffle mix. Half a scoop of level one first form protein. I'm using vanilla. You'll need about a quarter cup of fresh blueberries and then a little extra for sprinkling on top. One teaspoon of sliced almonds. Half a teaspoon of poppy seeds half a teaspoon of almond extract, a drizzle of sugar-free syrup, and of course, whipped cream for on top. You'll also need a little bit of nonstick spray for the waffle maker. I'm using coconut oil. You can use any type of spray. 
All right, let me show you how it's done. For the waffles, adding all my dry ingredients first. So Kodiak mix, half a scoop of my level one protein. And then I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of poppy seeds, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then half a cup of water. All right, adding the water. I don't like to add all of it at once in case it's too watery. So keep adding water until it gets to the consistency you like. Looks like I'm gonna want all of it. Mix it all up. All right. And while I mixed, my waffle maker was heating up. So I'm gonna spray it with some nonstick. And then one waffle equals, again, about three tablespoons. So I'm just gonna continue to add batter, three tablespoons at a time, until all of it is cooked. Okay, so I just realized I forgot one of the most crucial ingredients to blueberry almond poppy seed waffles. I forgot to add the blueberries <laughs> to the mix. So I'm gonna add them to the rest, about a quarter cup, and then I leave some out for on top as well, but I prefer having cooked blueberries in waffles. So we're gonna add those in there as well. The first one is, is the test. It's always the test. Okay, now that the waffles are all cooked, it's time for my second favorite part behind eating the waffles, of course, and that is adding the toppings. So I'm going to add the rest of my blueberries. I'd say it's about another quarter cup. Whoa, they're roll, whoa, they're very, they're very rolling. Okay, next, hmm, I'm trying to think of the order here. Next, I'm going to add some almonds, about a teaspoon. Eat a little. Gotta taste test everything. Then I'm gonna add a drizzle of sugar-free syrup. Next, my favorite part of all, the whip. Because if you don't already know, life's too short to not have the whipped cream on top. Also, you have to taste test it. It's mandatory. Add a little of that, or a lot. I'd say that's a serving. <laughs> or four. And then finally, we're gonna top it off with some poppy seeds. Finish the look. And there you have it. That looks so good. I almost don't wanna eat it, it's so beautiful. But I will. And that's how you make two of my all-time favorite waffle recipes. I hope you guys take a moment today to enjoy some waffles because it is National Waffle Day after all. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because when you do, you enter my huge giveaway, which I will announce next week. I'll see you guys then, and I'm about to enjoy some delicious waffles. Wow, I'm so happy. <laughs> this is better than Christmas. Mm. All right, he's been waiting a long time for this moment. <laughs> now he can dive in too. He's had to watch me film it. Well, he's been filming it. Watch me make it. How is it? <laughs> 
He films for food. Only way to do it.